I made this and it didn't even take me that long. See, if you're part of the anime slash manga slash webtoon community, then you've definitely seen these edits. I have tons of them saved on TikTok. I watch them on YouTube. They're on Instagram too. They're just everywhere. And I've always wanted to make one. So when I read the latest episode of Jinx, which is a BL webtoon by Minghua, I thought it would work perfectly with the song Jealous. This idea was completely inspired by this amazing edit I had watched ages ago, so full credit to this editor, Nemesis, for the concept and the audio. Anyway, I'm not hoping for a full-blown career in editing or whatever, I just wanted to make at least one cool edit. And this is the story of me attempting to do that. So I've got the song and I have the concept. See, in this webtoon, the love interest Jaekyung has been growing steadily jealous that his adult activities partner is being shown attention by someone else. This means that there are lots of good panels to use and so many good expressions. So all I have to do is screenshot a bunch of the panels I might use in my edit. I opened Final Cut Pro on my computer because that's what I use to edit my videos. I wasn't sure how I would create cool effects, but surely it would be possible. I mean, I heard people use After Effects, which I don't have, but I do have Apple Motion, so I think it's basically the same thing. Granted, I didn't even know how to use Apple Motion, but that's just a problem that I would deal with later. Anyway, I sorted through all the photos and placed them in the order I wanted and tried to sync them with the song. <laughs> So I still had no idea how I wanted the whole edit to go, but I knew that the beginning would be this kind of push-in. But as soon as I pulled up YouTube and searched up how to edit cool on Final Cut Pro, I came to the horrifying realization that I don't think anyone uses Final Cut Pro to make edits. I found out that a lot of people use this app called CapCut as an alternative. Which is nice and all, but there's no way I'm going to use a mobile app when I have a perfectly good laptop. Editing me here, I just realized that CapCut is available on laptops too, which means the hours I spent slaving away, fiddling with my fingers on a tiny screen was a total waste of time. So, while I waited for the app to download, I watched some tutorials and saw that CapCut is basically editing made extremely easy. They have a million different transitions and animations to use, as well as cool styles, but I didn't use that because they looked kind of strange. Anyway, I got the audio ready, then added screenshots in the order I had already prepared, though I did change this around later. Then, it was just a lot of moving things around, millisecond by millisecond. Of the pictures that you like. of the of the By the time I kind of finished the edit, it had taken me more than three hours. For an edit that was literally less than 30 seconds. Alright, so here it is. Baby, I'm jealous. Baby, I'm jealous. Of the pictures that you like. I know this is kind of anticlimactic because CapCut is basically just cheating, so this isn't the ending of the video. The final step was to see whether it went to viral. So I uploaded it on both my YouTube channel as a short and TikTok. I did run into a problem because I realized I used the wrong dimensions, which I think made the video look worse, but whatever. Anyway, I uploaded it and I refreshed my accounts and watched the views go up. And these are the final results several days later. Actually, I think it's been weeks at this point. It's taken me a long time to make this video, to edit it and stuff. Now these kind of numbers, <laughs> they're not really that impressive, but you know what? 
It was still a fun learning experience, and I'm proud of it, which is what matters. Anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.